Hey guys, this is Tom Hanks. Welcome to another stream today. Um, today will be more car, mix car mechanic simulator 2018. Last time we actually did our first full car restoration. Well, almost full. Uh, we don't have the um, the upgrade unlocked yet that allows us to work on the car's frame. Um, but apart from that, like we did replace the entire components for like the engine, the gearbox, the, uh, the suspension, the interior, the exterior, body panels, wheels, and everything uh, like that. So the game is almost up running. Almost. Yep. Uh, you should be able to see it in just a moment. And also, we'll just put the sound on for the game. And yeah, I hope that I can do another full restoration today. Uh, actually, last time I noticed something, what I noticed was that on the radio, not only... Uh, okay, there we go. Let's go for some rock. That's like oh FMW Roadster. That's not a BMW Z4 at all. No. <laughs> Uh, so we're gonna move this to our lifter and see what you got. I, I believe I might uh, have hit a rather large pothole or something. Please assess the damage and I can... I think that's gonna be mostly running gear. And this is actually a really nice looking car. I mean, so is this Z4, but um, you typically don't see a Z4 in this sort of uh, light blue. Ah. Here first. Wait, this is front wheel drive? Yeah, this 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 car in this game is uh, actually front wheel drive. Weird. Uh, I can see that the radiator. Uh, definitely needs to be replaced, but let's uh, see what else. Oh, the the rear suspension is looking bad. This side of the suspension is looking completely fine so far. Like, yeah. Wait, was there anything here on this side? Otherwise, I yeah, no, there wasn't. Just gonna put this back together. Steering rack itself is fine. The front sway bar is fine. Like nothing that requires dismantling on both sides uh, is actually faulty. So I'm just gonna put this back together. So just so I don't accidentally uh, put um, good parts, like the the new parts on this side, and then and then I would put uh, whatever it's called the the parts that were here before onto the other side and on the other side we we are probably required to put new parts and since since these are good but not new you know that would cause some complications like we've had before But 
but you can see that on the other side there's a bunch of stuff that needs to be placed we will do that Classic 06. So let's see. Definitely the rim needs to be replaced. Oh man, like <laughs> everything here is just death and destruction. I guess the brake pads are fine, but. Our link is not that bad. Let's check the rubber bushings as well. Yeah, that was at one percent. This one also looks really bad. Okay, 14%. Alrighty, now let's head over to the rear suspension. And this side is completely fine. And that side isn't. I, I like how at least they kept the theme up that, uh, you know, with someone driving over a huge puddle, at least only one side would be damaged. Like, it would be weird if you drive over a puddle on one side and then... Uh, both sides are you know, damaged, damaged equally. This is bad. Then this was still good. That off so I can this. I still can. Our exhaust pipe. I think that's everything about the running gear really only be the, the radiator left yep radiator okay now we found everything else uh let's see do i have i don't have anything on our my list so started uh for, oh yeah we before we get started we need to separate Also, oh, yeah, there's only one. I want to handle the rims first. What size? 18 inch. Rim Classic 06, 18 inch ET0. Uh, two of these. Eight. Uh, 
Like, I want to get this out of the way. As soon as possible. Sell this and sell this. Install this. We are at a reasonable amount of money right now. And I want to actually do another restoration today. These uh, these orders with the with the uh, with the blue highlighting um they usually uh, give a pretty good amount of money. They're usually a lot of work. So while we're in our inventory, uh, break caliber. This. Now let's go home and to the main shop and then we open our shopping list and we should have everything we need. We need one caliper, two calipers. We need one ventilated disc and one regular disc. I don't think we need anything else about brakes. So let's just go H. This one. And and wheel. It's this one. We need. So knuckle copper. I much prefer this uh, radio station, by the way. Need one of each of these. Still in A. Okay, rubber bushings, we need help. One, two, three, three, okay. Here's suspension arm. Then the rear suspension arm. A and B. Spring cap. It's over A. There's too much here. Off number four, that's this one. Next, there's the exhaust pipe. Contract absorber. So, cap. Okay. Now we should be good to sell everything that's like garbage and put everything back together. 
These were both faulty, I remember that. The ones on the front cross member were both faulty. Because there was one faulty rubber bushing somewhere on the rear, so that's why I didn't want to put the new one here. We need to um, take, like, join the shock absorber parts again. That's done. Oh yeah, okay, now this is looking much nicer again. Do need to remember to actually uh, fix the radiator afterwards. Uh, I think the faulty rubber bushing was this one. Let's get that out of the way. Yeah, I think we should be good with this one. Just don't forget to don't forget to also um, uh, remove the radiator and uh, replace that as well. There you go. I knew I had forgotten something. And there's something else I had forgotten right here. Uh, okay, now let's uh, move this thing down and remove the intercooler that radiator. It's radiator AI. I think I don't need to note that down. I remember radiator A. There's a small intercooler on this car as well. Never noticed that. Well, I think it's the first time I'm seeing this car in this game as well, so. I think we. Wait, we have shock absorber cap? 
We are upper suspension. Front spring, rear spring. Really? Let's see where. Because I was sure that okay, we we got everything right. Oh wait, there's yeah, there's a rubber bushing that we need to put somewhere. Wait, that spring needs to be replaced? Since when? That was in fine shape. In fine, I'll, I'll disassemble it again. Get a new spring. But, um, it seemed fine to me. Need front spring and a rear spring. Rear shock absorber cap. As well. So, let's. Parts, 100%, 100%, 100%. Obviously, this 89% part is just garbage, as we all know. That should go away now, yeah, and it did. Did not. I thought that the highlighting goes away if you. Uh, if you correctly replace the part. So. suspension upper arm Things in good shape. Gonna move the car down and then the order. There is a rubber bushing missing from the car. But where? Oh, wait, I think I know where. Yeah. Here. Sold it. Let's get a new one for 30 bucks. Or 15. Yeah. Actually, even less because we have a discount. Item added case, I saw that one. See what we get. Dark looks over. And cover and an alternator, okay.
Uh, we're at 36 grand. Bolt Chapman. So an 18-wheeler pushed him off of the road and wants, I wants this thing to be fixed, obviously. Ah, uh, yeah. Looks better on this side. Pair of minimal parts condition 100%. A lot of things wrong with this thing. I think the interior is fine though. Let's move away here. So this is the bolt chapman. We know which parts are missing. Like I mean we can look at it and Body shop. Old chap. Into front right fender. Need the right headlight. The front right door. Probably the window along with it as well. assume we probably also need the mirror well, let's, do let's let's see we add this fender door window mirror Okay, we need to rear right door as well. And the window that comes with it. Or rather needs to be purchased separately. But rear right fender is still here. I think the body parts should be good now. Yeah. Okay, now we need to lift this thing up. Let's actually quickly check in the engine bay. I don't think there's gonna be. Ah, uh, man, I mean, this doesn't look good, but it doesn't look. Like everything in here looks equally bad. Let's see how this is okay. I don't think that's. I don't think that's you know faulty. So I think it's just gonna be running here on this one. So Rim Chapman is certainly something we need to replace. That one was actually still okay. Let's put that back. How about this one? Doesn't look awful either. It wasn't, so let's put that back in. Just so I don't get confused with which which parts to, to put where. Now this is obviously something.
The sway bar doesn't look great, but doesn't look that bad either. Same goes for the steering rack. Doesn't look awful either. The side. That was it. Bad. The knuckle housing is bad. Spring might be bad. No, it's not. That should cover it. I don't think we have everything already that the uh, Oh yeah, we do. Let's see, we only have brake pads on the front, okay. Uh, there is one caliper as well. see we need to separate the tires from the rims first so we can see what sort of size and everything they are and also to see if the tires are still okay oh yeah the tires are still apparently Tars are fine. Okay, so Rim Chapman 15 inch ET0. This is also going to give us a decent amount of money because, of course, the body panels were pretty expensive. Oh yeah, first clear our shopping list from four. List. Wait, no, let's start that list again. Like everything is, is in bad condition on this one. So, we don't need everything. Well, we have new rims.
So, brakes. We need a caliper. Pad. Ventilated disc. Need a drum. This one. And that's it. Not it. Front axle knuckle cover. Oh yeah, we need to disassemble the, the wishbone uh, shock absorber and uh, get those spare parts as well. We do have a double wishbone shock absorber in our inventory, so we just need the spring and the cap. TRD front spring, front spring, front shock absorber. Cap. That being said, I'm not gonna give this a plus two. Um, double wish bone shock absorber. I might give that uh, plus two double wish bone shock absorber to a future, you know, restored car. But not to this one. Because I'm never seeing this piece of garbage again. I have nothing like against this model of car. I have something about this particular example because it's just, you know, absolutely trash everywhere. And uh, the parts that were the, the worst, we repaired. So.
tiny new drum. I think we might have everything now, right? This car wasn't too bad after all. Yeah. And we made a good amount of money as well. Like as far as effort and, and time that this took, this wasn't too bad. We're at 40 grand and now we're gonna sell a bunch of stuff after. Oh no! I used the plus two because it was the one that was selected by default. Oh man. Well, I mean, it's not a big deal. I don't know. What? A plus five part? Engine head B, V8, OH, V, H. So there's going to be a lot of push on V8s, huh? So I'm going to sell everything that's fresh. Uh, we should have some more barns available. Two more, yeah? I can't actually go to car auctions or to the junkyard. I wonder when that'll be a thing. Let's see what sort of uh, barn finds, if you will, we can we can make. Case, we'll take that. Eighteen thousand for this one, okay. probably do that twenty six thousand for this one I don't think that's worth it Oh, there's another car. 32,000. Nah, certainly not. Some more junk back there as well. Want to see what they have. Oh, I don't think I can actually access that. But I might want to buy this. What do you think? Buy it or leave it? can see I can swap this with a with, with different engines that's cool I can make a v8 uh, pushrod hemi but I don't know like how do I know which of the you know v8 OHV uh, engines which one which one is the hemi how do I know that? I don't know. But what I do know is I'm going to buy this thing. Uh, into the garage. And we're going to try and restore it. I think we should have enough money. Anything over here? Enough. Okay. Turn to the garage. Buy that.
case we get So you can't actually unmount the uh, rear fenders. Five lever D bench fast bed. We can swap out the, the letter, uh, like the, the seats, of course. Currently had these in there. I think I want these ones. Bench Spectre. Bench Spectre. Then this one. And then the steering wheel as well. It had this one in it, and I think that's the one I still want to go with. Yeah. It best fits the car. Don't tell me I can't put a leather bench in the back here. Oh, I'm so dumb. It's the bench fastback. That's why I couldn't put it in there. Let's see.
all of that was pretty expensive of course but it's gotta be nice right won't be though because like the main color is this sort of beige and the spare parts are all um well black plastic i'll worry about the windshield in just a second License plate back. This. Was this? Not purchased that? Yeah, I did. I shouldn't have sold the license plate. I'm gonna replace both of them. <laughs> Wait, where do I find? Oh, here. Austria. city let's buy two of these for a hundred and ninety dollars no Now let's get to the fun part. Is nearly $20,000 uh, enough to fully restore this car? Uh, with the wheels and tires it might not quite be enough. But I think it's gonna be close. This literally didn't have any oil in it. Well, before we get into disassembling this whole car, I want to swap out the rims and tires for this. The overall condition of this thing is just garbage. But it'll be mine once I restore that i do also of course want to make enough progress to actually um, re uh, unlock the paint job so we can fully paint this car because right now it just looks pretty garbage parts
Okay. Now I'm gonna check out the specs of this. Okay. So 11 inch. Wait, how large does it say that anywhere? Does it say that anywhere? What what size rims we can put on this? I don't think that that would be stated. Further down. I'm just gonna stick with the original sizes. The two fifteen sixty five R fifteen. Fifteen sixty R fifteen, right? Was it? Two fifteen sixty five R fifteen. That's twelve hundred dollars. I think I want these. Hey, hey, uh, the Xindas, how's it going? This, by the way, if you just tuned in, we're gonna restore this car. This is Salem Spectre Fastback, uh, which is, you know, obviously inspired by a Mustang. tires left to balance and then well then we get all four tires and rims that we're gonna be using just gonna start disassembling everything.
I wonder what I need to do in order to unlock, you know, being able to go to the car show or the or the or the junkyard. Okay, now that we've disassembled everything on one side, you know what? Let's uh, take the exhaust out too. And it can just be like, okay, if I add everything to the shopping list, I'm gonna add everything twice. Nothing's on here so far. Okay, that's good. Because we obviously need the same parts on the other side as well. Two, one, two, one. actually gonna take everything out here and then um, the parts that only exist once like the steering rack or the sway or the front sway bar those obviously we don't need two off Now, the steering rack, front sway bar, and the front suspension cross member. Need to note those down as well. And we can go part shopping. Obviously, not in the rim shop, though. Let's start with the brakes. Two calipers. Two uh, caliper cylinders. Don't you have the tablet yet? Do I or don't I? Yes, I do. I unlocked it uh, and forgot that I had it. <laughs> well, thanks for reminding me. So we'll have cap, we'll have bearing, front wheel hub, front axle knuckle cover. Okay, rubber bushing. We need a ton of those. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, twelve, twelve. Okay. Sway, sway bar front and. Can you explain how it works? Sure. Um, so basically, if you go into your inventory and uh, you right click something, um, it'll pop up in the top left corner and it'll be added to your shopping list. And then you see this here in the, in the shop. 
and everything you've put onto the list uh, will be will be popping up. Um, of course, do remember that after you're done shopping, you go here and you clear the list. Because um, otherwise you may end up making, well, you may end up uh, having a huge list with, uh, you know, parts that you require for five different cars. Not that I'm speaking out of experience there or anything. <laughs> Front steering knuckle C. Front exhaust pipe gate C. This one. Little muffler. ones steering rack sway bar B uh, front suspension cross member E all right everything back together here at least the front suspension something I forgot that's something I like to forget actually <laughs> when shopping for parts you know the like the um, the shock absorbers and also the wheels with rims they always appear right at the top rather than you know like unless you've separated them then they appear where all the other parts are Uh, yeah, tablet. I need to get into the habit. Front spring. A wishbone. Absorber. Lock absorber. Have you played Car Mechanic Simulator 2015 as well, by the way? Because I've played a lot of that. Now, how do you see the difference uh, and uh, the differences between uh, 2015 and 2018 versions of this game? Which which one do you, do you prefer? Do you prefer the new one or the or the, or the older one? Oh, that by the wrong on sway bar. Yep, I did. I prefer the new one, okay. Uh, we need front sway bar B, not rear sway bar. Uh, so you prefer the new game. Junkyard barns, 
better way for restorations. Okay. What what exactly do you mean with better way for restorations? Like uh, this, what we're doing right here, or more options of getting the 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 old cars? Does it feel like swapping out the parts is mostly identical to? Um, okay, I'm gonna. Swapping in parts and everything is mostly identical um, to 2015, of course, because how could it not be? Um, are we still missing something else on the front? I don't think we are. Like on this side, anyway. Could be good. Um, more options to get beat up cars. Okay, yeah. That is definitely true. Now, I think that, of course, I do also prefer the new game, I think. But there's a couple of things that I find a little bit, um, you know, they're new features and I get that they make uh, the game more realistic. But for example, the, the wheel balancer, right? That, like, that's just something where, that, that's just an added element that they put into the game that just, you know, takes away more time when all you do is basically just put the wheel under and wait. You know, like you've, you've assembled the... You, you've bought the, the rims and uh, tires separately, okay? You've, you've put them together on the, um, on the machine and now you just gotta put them onto another machine and wait. And it actually takes pretty long, so... That, that is one addition that I'm not quite for. I mean, I know... I know why they did it. Again, more realism. I understand that, but it doesn't, like... It doesn't add any more enjoyment to the game, I think. It doesn't need it. In my opinion. More of where it needs to go faster after a certain level. Yeah, okay, I, I would be fine with that as well. Okay, now we've uh, completely read on the front suspension and the exhaust. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna clear my shopping list and I'm gonna sell all the junk in my inventory. Do I have everything? Sweep up front and link. Yeah, I still need to. I think I may have forgotten about that. Yep. Have I remembered it on the other side? Let's see. Uh, yes, I have. It's right there. Now I'm gonna sell all my junk here and then we're gonna move to the rear suspension. That was 800 bucks worth of, um, well, old parts. Not too bad. And again, I'm gonna do the same thing as I did on the on the front suspension.
blue pump tank. It's also gonna get added to the list. Then we're just over here. The thing, oh, you you have a, a lot of hours in this game. Um, so with this car, right? I can see here the engine swap options. But how do I know which ones of the V8 OHV um, is the Hemi, which one is the MAG, which one is the 6P, which one is the Winter, and so on? Do you do you happen to know which one is which? Because I do want, because I do like myself a, a Hemi. So, I, I if if I knew which which one that like which parts uh, correspond to the Hemi, uh, I would go for that. No clue. I always respond to the one that's in the car. Okay. And then we need to take the drive shaft off. So that we can move the rear sp these spring rear axle. There's something still. Oh yeah, the knuckle housing. Ah, and we can access the starter from here. Nice. Convenient. On most cars, you can only access it from the engine bay. Oh, uh, you're looking it up. That's... Thank you. That's nice of you. So now, head in for the drive shaft, spring rear axle, starter, life, and then we're gonna go shopping again. And again, I forgot to use the tablet. Drum. Fuel cylinder. Drive axle. Four. Two leaf springs, two plates, four U bolts, all in the drive axle. Four of these. Knock up so key. Pump, go tank, gate. Oh, they're both straight. Plate, special plate, steering. The flywheel, then the gearbox should be this one. Nope. 
this one. Yeah. But I'm not gonna put the uh, the gearbox back together uh, right now because we'll want to work on the engine next. So. Do you have the engine crane? No, I don't. Actually, yeah, I do. I think. Oh, that's the engine stand. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Oh, you need the engine to swap it. Okay. So you can't just buy all the parts for one specific engine and, you know, build it together and uh, put that into your car. That's sad. But also, what's this for if you can't, uh, if, if you don't have any purpose for it uh, without the engine crane? Or does it have any other use? Okay, so you put, so you build the engine together, put it on the engine stand, lift it up from there with the engine crane. Okay, I see how that works. sell everything that's below like percent which should be everything that was on the car oh I got to do this part We spent about 30 grand on this car so far and it's worth 32 grand so we're keep in mind the drive shaft and gearbox is currently not in there so it would be worth a little bit more right now but the real the real increase in value is gonna present itself once we're actually done with the installation do i sell this car or do i keep it I don't know yet. I might just go ahead and say I'm gonna sell it because I want the money. <laughs> you know? Alright, this has eight rock caps, doesn't it? the crane to pull it off then you can repound the engine on the stand it's much easier to build engines on the stand you can rotate the engine if you want no need to use lift constantly 
Oh, yeah. Okay. But... But can you build the engine like that uh, if you don't have the crane? No, right? I would assume that the answer to that question is no. Delete all of this from the list. Let's disassemble the, uh, the engine. Then worry about the parts that we are we are gonna need an airfield to cover as well which was just missing from this one From here, I'm going to make a shopping list again. Where's the oil f uh, wallet underneath the bar once again, of course. Forgot to remove that, actually. Only of these to be one. Eight of these. We found a barn location. Oh yeah, I remember push rod disassembling and reassembling push rod engines now from the 2015 game. It was like these rocker arms and the individual push rods were... That's just always, you know, a pain in the ass. It's so much hassle. I feel like the camera is fine. Also gonna this just so I have a reference for what part I need.
Okay, so the last thing removed was the chat. Two of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six, that should be 16. You know what? We should just make one click and be like, okay, we need 16 of these. One, two, three. Two engine heads. One, two, four, five, eight. These. These. There was a rocker arm missing on this one as well. Did I already remove the fuel filter or does this have it somewhere else? Or does it just not have a fuel filter? Junkyard cars are fun, sometimes whole engines are missing. <laughs> yeah. Then again, um, my first restoration was actually last week uh, on the stream. And that was a, a cheap Willis that I bought from, a, uh, from the from the barn for like 10k very very or maybe very slightly above that but definitely above uh, definitely below 11k and that had an engine you know it, it had like none of the components i think were missing except uh, a few uh, body panels But of course it was in just garbage condition, as you would expect with such a low price. Does be removed. Need a battery that breaks servo, of course. Need to put this thing up again. How do you unlock the junkyard, by the way? Because I can't go to it yet. Level 13 or 14. Oh, so we're, we're actually getting close. Oil filter here. And of course a block. I believe I already have... Yep. Okay. So no need for, no need for that. Okay, and uh, let's go ahead and go to tablet. We're gonna have a huge uh, list here. We're gonna need an oil pan. filter then bearing caps we need three of these then we need a crankshaft this one one and that's oh, actually a crankshaft pulley where's that gate or what's that 
rod cap. Eight. Um, this one. Or which one's the regular one? The piston ring. Oh, yeah. Probably more specific at my search. Round air filter, two carp. Yep. Round air filter base, carp, and then we need the cover as well. Um, cover at our four barrel. I think we're actually gonna have enough money, which is awesome. Flip B. Okay, so we're gonna need a ignition fueler. It's just a regular one. Distributor rotor. Distributor. Coil B. It's this one. Okay, so serpentine belt A for the V8 OHV. Serpentine belt B for V8 OHV. Fuel filter. Water pump holy. Water pump. Wherever it is. There's so many. There's too many variants of uh, each engine type and type in this. Uh, in this game i feel like like v8 oh v c d e f g like how many pushrod v8s do you have in this game how many different ones i think that that at, at one point it just gets confusing right uh Uh, so timing chain iron looks like this one. See, these two look exactly the same, right? You could easily confuse these two with each other. Timing cover HB. We have to here. This one. Shaft.
Wait. Do we need head cover A and B for a V8? Would make sense, right? Like one, yeah, one has the, yeah, one has the hole for the, for filling in the oil, and the other one doesn't. Okay, now we need rocker arms and we need 16 of these and we need OHV, yeah, two of those, and then I think we actually have, no, we don't have everything yet, Now we have everything though, I think. Oh, we actually had a plus one alternator. making a good amount of XP here as well like that has always been um, I feel like in Car Mechanic Simulator 2015 uh, buying cars disassembling them res and fully restoring them uh, was 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 the fastest way of uh, making XP and money I don't know if that's if it's the same in in this game it seems pretty good for XP. Obviously, if you take orders, then you get um, a bunch of XP when you actually sign off the order again, like when you finish it and uh, get the car back to the customer, you get a, a bunch of XP at that point, which obviously is a point that never happens when you store a car here. But I still think it's pretty effective. Oh yeah, let's put the oil filter in. More money from restoring? Yeah, I... Uh, I feel like... I've noticed that already as well. 
like the money pretty sure you make you make more money this way but xp i'm not sure then again you get xp over time anyway so like, XP is not the, the most important part, even though it is, of course, still a thing that matters because of all the upgrades. Get XP per part. Yep, I, I know that. But uh, does the extra XP that you can make um, in restoring from, you know, just restoring everything, does that make up for the boost in XP that you get when signing off a contract, like when you're finishing a job? Does that outweigh that? I don't know. Because obviously, with a um, when you're taking an order, when you're taking an, on, an order, especially uh, the one the, the the blue ones where you know you don't know what's gonna be wrong with the car, uh, you gotta find the parts first that are faulty, and whereas with restoration, obviously you you know you're just swapping everything. By the, and the right um, water pump fully oh, this doesn't have any screws ah the fan was missing as well radiator fan oh, where am I going this side Overall, though, I think that the disassembling and reassembling in general in this game is uh, slower than it was in the 2015 game. Because I remember I, I did play the 2015 game uh, for a while on, on YouTube as well. And once I, did, once I did get the hang of it, I could do a full restoration with the complete you know, disassembling, buying parts, reassembling in 20 minutes or so, maybe 25. So, you know, that's, it's not happening here. Obviously a pushrod engine, because of this exact part where we're at right now, uh, did take a little bit longer, but
upgrades are the answer. Okay, fair enough. Speaking of upgrades, I, I'm sure I have at least one more point available right now. Possibly two. I don't know if I've uh, leveled up once or twice in this in this stream, but I'll check the toolbox after we're done with this. done on this this part of the car which means we basically only really gotta lift it up again put the camshaft uh, crankshaft bearings in put the oil pan in back in and then let it back down and, and fill it up with oil and that should be us i think that should be the end of it Or did I forget anything? already back in I can't I don't have the upgrades to uh, uh, to repair the frame yet so clip no it's already on there right yeah so i think we're good this car is now worth 47 grand we bought it for um Was it? Oh, it was less than 30. It was like 26. So we can sell it for 50 grand now, which is pretty good. And I'm gonna do that. Unless. Let's see. I can do this. And then we actually have one more upgrade point. Full pressure test. Don't think I need that. Yeah, I mean. Can I do this? No? I guess I need this upgrade in order to unlock that. No?
Okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna sell this car. 50,000 dollars. We're making money. Oh, and we now have two lifters. That's awesome. Oh, I can finally work on two cars at once. What's the warehouse? Can I sell parts here? What use does the warehouse have? Does it give me more than uh, if it just sell it from here? No, it doesn't. I can store parts there. With right click? Ah, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna store all of these in there. Except, except this one. All of the parts from cases I'm going to store in there. That's a main gate, main gate. Really new here. Go to a racetrack, but I don't have a car anymore. I can go to a junkyard. Awesome. That costs five hundred dollars. Question: uh, do, uh, do you still like? Do you still have to pay five hundred dollars to go to the junkyard if you have a car? Like if you own a car, because theoretically you could just drive your own car, then it wouldn't cost you five hundred, and it shouldn't cost you five hundred dollars, right? Entry fee. Oh, okay. Oh, that's how we do that. You know what? I want I want a car to restore, right? This one looks. Oh no. That? No. Oh, here we go. Fifteen thousand. Okay. Chief Ten TDX. Do they have everything and do they have anything else? It's not look like it's the only car here. Yeah. Okay. Let's buy that. It's in terrible condition. Oh my goodness. You know what, for that, for, for considering that everything is in absolute garbage condition, 15 grand is actually kind of expensive, isn't it? It should be more like 12k. Or even 10. But... I'm gonna buy it uh, in the garage. Turn to garage. The list has emptied itself, thankfully. And I think we're going to be restoring this next time. 
because this still seems to be a pretty good way of uh, of making money on this. Now in the in the old game, there was also a way uh, like you could you could tune engines with tuning parts. You would buy from the from a tuning shop. I don't see that here. Right. Where's there a tuning shop? Or oh, I can go to a car salon. That DLC is free. I have all the DLCs though, or is that a, uh, a new DLC? I I bought the game four weeks ago. The four week no four weeks ago or so. In the Steam Winter Sale. You can also go to a car salon, but I don't think that. Wait, what does the car salon even do, and what's the difference between it and the car auctions? Oh, yeah, the car salon, of course, brand new overpriced cars i've been there before i think like this thing is probably gonna be like 150k ah it was wrong 170k this is gonna be a way over 200 yep Then there's a cheap grand Cherokee. Now in real life this sells for what? 50 grand? 259. And the BMW M3. 273,000. You this is just madness. Like the prices here are just exorbitant. You should never buy a car here in the car salon. This is what exactly? I don't know. Oh, there's the engine crane as well. We can engine swap this. Next time, guys, we'll we'll res we'll restore this car, and we'll engine swap it. It's gonna happen next Saturday, starting at um, 8 p.m. Central European time. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this stream. If you did, please consider following my channel so you can so you can watch live next time, and uh, if, uh, consider uh, subscribing with Twitch Prime if you have it. And if you don't, that's fine too. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the stream and I hope to see you again next week. Till then, have a good one and see you next time. Goodbye.